Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Joshua Mosley, composer, producer for film, television, video games, and uh, recording artist. Just wanted to take a moment to go through, uh, to walk through this short cue uh, I recently did for CineSamples, uh, using CineSamples libraries exclusively. Um, I knew with this cue I wanted to write something a little more mysterious, a little darker, so that was kind of like the starting point. Uh, of my inspiration uh, also you know something a little more intimate and small uh, and kind of show off how the sort of samples libraries uh, can help produce that sound typically I start especially with, you know, with anything orchestral uh, with the piano and so it kind of just started with this <laughs> So while I was, uh, you know, kind of sketching that out, writing that out, I was hearing melody in my head, and I knew I definitely wanted that played uh, with the solo violin. Uh, for the most part, it is. Uh, there's a kind of a call and answer thing happening uh, with the uh, Tina Guo cello. So I used the Taylor Davis violin for the main uh, melodic statement. The Tina Guo cello also comes in for a minute and does this answer thing at about bar five. And uh, that was those were the next elements I added to this. So let's uh, add those in. <laughs> Just with those few instruments, um, you know, you got a great piece. It sounds full, uh, it's uh, very expressive, and uh, just sounds, sounds great. I think, yeah, the next thing was uh, adding some uh, low pits. And I used the full ensemble. Um, it's kind of the way I like to work sometimes. I'll write, you know, the top line, top register, and I'll go right in bass parts and kind of fill in the middle. Um, so you got this. These short notes in the cellos and violins kind of helps drive things along. Let's see, and so to uh, add some more coloring, went over to uh, the Cinewinds. Use the um, alto flute, use the E flat clarinet, true legato, uh, the flute's true legato as well, and the English horn true legato, just to add some harmonic content. The clarinet to me is always very, uh, lends well to, you know, mysterious. Uh, type of cues, type of music. So here's this kind of soloed. There's a quick trumpet part that doubles with the violins here. Just for a quick, you know, little change in color. And to round it out, just want to use the less here. So 
So some of it's kind of doubling the piano. As a tip, and I think for most, a lot of string libraries, um, you know, when I perform these in, write these in, you know, I'm writing and hitting them with a the downbeat. Sometimes I'm, I am anticipating the downbeat um, the of each whatever beat I'm writing. Um, a lot of times you'll have to move the MIDI back a hair before the beat. Uh, think like a, a, a string player. Um, it's going to come into, you know, the bow is going to start before you hit that, that beat. And so, so you got to slide these all back a little bit uh, to give it that more natural feel. And there's no, you don't feel like it's behind the beat uh, and it's late and all that. So I'll do that typically like after I perform it and it's all quantized. I'll go back in and scoot things back up. Same for... So you can see how it's a little bit before uh, the beats there. As far as like any reverbs, uh, just kind of use the Valhalla Room reverb on the uh, Taylor Davis violin and just the Logic reverb here, nothing crazy. Just the, uh, we have the Prince Hall um, reverb that's kind of on everything. Just a light reverb because I didn't want it to sound, uh, I want it to sound more close mic'd. Anyway, that's a, a quick walkthrough uh, of the suspense cue using exclusively CineSamples libraries. Uh, they got a lot of great stuff that will help you produce a great sound. Thanks, guys. Talk soon. Take care.